Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play yet another No Name Mame Game. Today's No Name Mame Game is, of course, Quiz Ryoka Ni Tatensai. Or something to that extent. And what could this quiz game be about? That's, that's not actually that ironic of a question. If you look at that picture, there's no coherent theme other than they were all drawn by humans. So let's randomly choose what character we want. Many games back in the day did not have a random character Daddy. choice function, so you had to uh, figure out yourself. And we've chosen the everyday. Everyday man. Now I'd like to believe that this is asking, um, what, what day were you born on? So yes, of course, I was born on the 43rd of May. Why do you ask? Not a very enthused scientist. Oh. Well. So, I mean, did he just, like, kidnap those kids and then they all turned into zombies or something? I'd like to believe that they were at least his grandchildren or something, helping out with an experiment. And we gotta choose our subject. Alright, quiz game. Now, I've learned the secret to him winning in hey, Japanese no. quiz games is to turn all four buttons on hey, the auto fire, put in a ton of credits, get a bag of popcorn, and just kind of hang out. And if you're lucky, the quiz game will, like, have you randomly select a button. Oh, crap. This is one of those games where you have to really be paying attention or else... Okay. So the thing is, I put all four buttons on autofire, right? So, if I don't pay attention to when I run out, then things could turn out pretty poorly. Okay. You know, just hold on for a second. You ain't seen nothing. Alright, and I'm back. So, what I did was I put start onto, um, well, you know, that kind of begs the question. Why didn't I just put coin entry? Alright. So, I'll be back. Oh, well, it's a minigame. So, we can at least enjoy this without having to, um... So, I'm assuming you have to collect just the good stuff and not so many bombs. Although, pff, everybody knows bombs are the best. Can't even like move faster or anything. Okay, the bombs just prevent us from going along. But our stupid big head keeps running into the bombs anyway. Way to go, kid. Oh, some of them are TNT. Hey, hey, but, but, but they're points. We got so many. Where are they? Hey, come on. Okay, hold on for a second now. Alright, and I'm back. So, let's see if this works the way I expect it to. So the way I've set it up now, not only are all four buttons now um, on auto-fire, but we also have the coin entry is on auto-fire, and now start is on auto-fire. So basically, I'm not playing this game at all, and I'm gonna just rock right through. In fact, I don't even have to be paying attention to what's happening on the quiz games, I can just freely critique um, everything. So let's check this out. He's gonna lose a heart. And then BAM! He starts right over again. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I've done a lot of quiz games of this, and it's taken me like, what, five, six, seven times to figure out this ultimate strategy. I mean, of course, the alternative was to uh, go ahead and learn Japanese, but that seems like a bit overkill just to play one genre of arcade game. No matter how awesome looking an arcade game genre it is, I mean, this this game, of course, is actually kind of one of the worst-looking games, and I wonder if that's actually because it's kind of like a Sega-developed game. I mean, usually the other quiz games we're seeing are, like, more by Namco or whatever, and they're usually pretty sweet, whereas this game looks a little bare-bones. Of course, this game could have come out in the early times when people were just, just figuring out that you could create beautiful works of art with sprites. But alas, 
We can only dream of what used to be. Although, 20%... Oh, it should be 25%. You know what they say, the answer is always C. Let's try that kind of logic. Well, it's interesting. So, basically, I... S even, even if I press the other buttons... Um, nothing happens. So I seem to have missed the sign the buttons. Well, okay, A is, A is a perfectly fine choice. What are you talking about? I love A. Come on, you got one right. Oh, bull cow, we're gonna be here all day. That's all we need. We only need one more. Let's, let's walk on by. So I'm beginning to realize the premise. He was stuck in a time machine, and now... In addition to being zombies, now they're stuck in time. And so, I'm assuming this is the, uh... It looks a little bit like the show era. <laughs> that's, that's the noise that means something good's gonna happen. And we've prepared heartily for this person, we've memorized all of our trivia, and we've gotten our auto-fire triggers ready. Wow, the game just kind of plays itself. And then I was thinking of make this, making this setup even more ridiculous, where I just assign all the inputs to one single button, and then I just kind of weight it down or something, and then we go. That would be pretty awesome. The only catch is you need to be able to, like... You need to kind of be paying attention, because if you just kind of auto-fire throughout the whole quiz, then you'll like auto-fire through all the cutscenes, and then that's no fun. But I could do some, quote, long plays by doing this. <laughs> oh man, that's that's like the antithesis of... That's like completely against the creator's wishes, they probably... In fact, I wonder how much effort people actually kind of put into um, making questions for these sorts of quiz games. You know, victory percentages kind of imply that at some point in time we've won. So I, I'm sure you've always wondered, do quiz games adapt the uh, questions to constantly punish someone who constantly press or guesses the same question? The answer is yes. Yes, they do. That's no good. That is no good. Hey, you know what the heck? Nothing interesting's happening. Let's let's pioneer this new technique. So, hold on for a second. See you later. Alright, welcome back. And so we've assigned all of the buttons to this one. This one single button. What the crap? So in theory, anyway, it was supposed to um, swap throughout all of the uh, choices. Of course, this game seems to really like that first choice preferentially. But... At the very least, now we only have to hold down one button. Ooh, slots. My favorite kind of gambling. Oh, wow. It's not even like Pokemon slots where we get to decide who gets what or what. It's just like... Oh, hey. While well, we aced that time period, let's go for the green. Um, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's the future. Oh, pff, now the choices are all A. I was waiting for this lovely moment for a long time. Ooh, okay, let's kind of critique what's happening in the background. So we've got, like, tiny little, um, carps and balls, I suppose. Okay, what are we doing? We're, like, just kind of playing around in a playground, trying to, um... I'm assuming beat up the baseball guy. He probably stole some of our cards in the past, and so now we're... Going back to take revenge. So I'm assuming those are little fishes in the backgrounds. Yeah, they look like little coins or something. 
I mean, there's not a whole lot going on about this game. And that's kind of one of the things that, like, other quiz games are, like, so good at, but this game is lacking in. They're able to, um, make everything look visually interesting, at least. And I mean, sure, these, like, kind of sprited still screens, there's definitely some effort gone into it. And it definitely looks neat. Oh. This game again. I wonder how it goes. Oh, okay, now that I know that dynamite is bad for you, let's see how well I do. But I mean, even though like the still screens are pretty nice, and like otherwise this is a technically sort of a competent quiz game, the thing is, like, the gameplay, it's like the actual quiz screen itself is really sparse, really not interesting, and quiz game really lives or dies by how interesting it is to look at at any given point in time, and this game kind of dies by that metric. So, unfortunately, I think we'll be uh, calling it somewhat quits, but at the very least, I learned something very interesting, and that is, it does work to assign everything to one button, and then just kind of talk freely while I watch this happen. It's kind of like taking a break, I guess. Like, in some of the games, it's, like, really hard to talk while you're playing, but this game, pff, you can do whatever. Not even playing. Well, on that note, this cat's got a scat.